Scott, we're recording. The world knows Diane Rehm as a fearless and adept interviewer, but her prominence on the nation's airwaves would most likely surprise her parents, who had no such expectations for their daughter's future. Thanks for joining us. I'm Diane Rehm. A little more than a year ago, Greece she was born and raised in the close-knit Syrian Christian community in Washington, D.C., and no easy passage existed between the world of her family and the outside world. In 1929, my father went back to the old country, to Alexandria, Egypt, where my mother was living. And she was engaged to someone else. But he, because the families knew each other, I guess my father's proposal took precedence. He married her in April of 1929, took her on a wonderful honeymoon, and came here. Just one problem, and that is that my dad had his entire family with him. My mother had to leave her entire family behind, and I think that was hard. I can still see her writing letters in beautiful Arabic um, to her mother quite frequently, and still see those letters coming with that airmail stationery, that blue airmail stationery with the rim and she looked forward to those letters so much. I think she had a hard time with two young girls who were very much a part of the American community, whereas she strictly a part of the Syrian community. As I finished writing my own book, all of a sudden it occurred to me, think the courage my mother had to leave her family behind. She saw her mother once more when I was 12, and my grandmother came, and she could speak no English, and of course I could speak very little Arabic, but she taught me. And we would sit on the front porch together. She was a smoker. She had this long, black, silk hair, and I used to touch her hair and feel it, and she'd pass me a cigarette and let me smoke with her on the front porch, which my mother, of course, never knew. But my grandmother had a very different attitude from that of my mother. She was easygoing. She was filled with laughter and joy, and that's what makes me wonder about my mother. Had she been able to stay in her own country, would she have been a happier person? I knew I had to find more in life. I was perhaps just more ambitious. Uh, and I know ambition is kind of a strange word to use in there, but I think there was some kind of drive in me that said there is something more out there, and I've got that something. Why in the world would he be interested in this little Arab girl with no education, uh, from humble beginnings, of course, I found out his beginnings were humble as well. But nevertheless, the excitement of ideas. And he became the teacher and I, the pupil, for so many years until I began to break out from that as well. Most of the women of my generation whether I have been American or otherwise, were at home and happy at home. And, you know, I was happy at home too, but I just knew I wanted something more 
It sounds like rape is <laughs> at ceiling. Okay.